Oh, those Canes are ready. Last year's stumbles are in the rearview mirror for Miami as they take the field here. And they know that the best is ahead of them. And they can get there a lot faster with a huge win today as a wildly talented Aggie squad awaits them. As you're watching the ACC on ESPN. So glad you're with us for what is only the second time an SEC team has played Miami here at Hard Rock Stadium. Both teams cruise through week one with ease. Number 23 AM here at the Canes. As we say, good afternoon, everybody. Thrilled you're with us. Joe Tessitore alongside Jesse Palmer. And just forget what you know about these two teams from last year. They have upgraded with new rosters, yeah. with some new coaches, yeah. and definitely a new attitude. Both teams think they're a lot better yeah. than the last season. So this game really is a bit of a litmus test, right? You're right. New faces in the staff, a lot more talent through high school recruiting and the portal. Both teams on paper look a lot better from a talent standpoint than a year ago. And look, the game's not going to determine the conference championship race for either team. The loser's not out of the national championship picture. But you still kind of feel like this game is a barometer to find out how much these programs have taken that next step forward. Hey, last year a and got all the hype because they had the number one recruiting class. This year, that group has matured, especially on the defensive line. I think this D-line has a chance to be really, really special. And they've signed a lot of blue chip guys these last couple years. And while they went through some growing pains last season, when you watch the first game this year against New Mexico, you can really see the potential of a lot of these guys. It starts with Walter Nolan inside. The number one rated recruit out of high school a year ago. 290 pounds. Look at the athleticism and agility fighting through the cut block and making a play in the backfield. Then you go to Shamar Stewart, a guy outside 6'6", 285, could play tackle or end. Watch this speed as he chases down the receiver on a reverse. Don't focus on the horse collar, people. <laughs> focus on the athleticism. And then you've got Shamar Turner. How does a guy 6'4", 290 pounds, bend like this, dip low, keep his feet, and make a play? This D-line for Texas A&M, they are a key to their entire season. They have got to be able to get after Miami quarterback Tyler Van Dyke today. Miami has a much improved offensive line, of course, tasked with protecting TVD, Katie. Tyler Van Dyke, he told me he's happier and he's healthier this season. The latter just took time. The first took trust. Trust between a head coach and his quarterback. When Mario Cristobal moved on from Josh Gaddis this offseason, Van Dyke said it was scary not knowing who his third offensive coordinator would be. But Cristobal made it a point to involve Van Dyke in the hiring process, so much so he asked Van Dyke to meet with some of the candidates. Cristobal said he wanted Van Dyke to have a say in the decision that was going to impact him most. Enter Shannon Dawson. His version of the air raid is not only quarterback friendly, it gives Van Dyke a freedom to make his own decisions on the field, something he feels like he excels at, Tess. And through this new partnership, TVD has found joy playing the game again, and it shows. Yeah, last year, Katie, there was a massive adjustment period with a new quarterback coach and the offensive coordinator, then Josh Gaddis, a struggling offensive line as well, and then the injury he had to deal with, and now Shannon Dawson steps in in what is a very early season, potentially impactful game for both squads here. You, you get the feeling that the winner today just gathers huge momentum. Jim. I was going to say that's so important in building confidence early in the year, especially when you see what's coming down the road for both of these programs. This is really, I think, a big game for fans out there of both teams, but also for these players and these coaches themselves to just see, hey, just how far have we come? We think we're really good. We're going to find out today in this incredible test in week two. Texas A&M won the toss. They elected to defer. So Randy Bond out there to get the day started under the sunshine of South Florida as Burchard Smith is back to return for the Canes. And Xavier Restrepo will have it on the return here. Excellent coverage as the 12th man does his job. That's Sam Matthews, of course, the famed 12th man. He bulked up as a linebacker, got the honor to wear the famed jersey, and does his job. And Sam Matthews is just lined up in the middle of this kickoff team. He runs right down the middle of the field and makes the tackle on a very good open field runner in Xavier Restrepo. He was voted for 12th man for the entire season, plays a big, big role on this team, and makes a big play early. 